Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Aries. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates, then it's your message at that time. So guys, um, as you can see, if you've been watching my channel previous to this video, you'll see that I'm in a different filming location today. Um, my daughter and I are out traveling for the weekend, and since we will likely be doing a lot of traveling this summer, I thought that I would just try out other locations and make sure um, we could kind of film on the road kind of thing. So it's a bit of an experiment. I hope it um, looks and sounds okay. I hope the lighting is okay. So it's kind of a test run to see how things go. Um, I've done your spread today with the combined Animal Oracle and the Good Tarot deck as usual. So you will see a blend of the two decks in your spread today. Um, we begin your reading here today with the Frog Spirit. There's actually quite a bit of information coming through this card for me today, but um, one of the most important messages seems to be connected to, directly connected to the entrance of this King of Air into your life. The King of Air, or the King of Swords, um, for me specifically, especially in this reading, he's not necessarily the King of Swords. He's representing, um, for me, I call him, I call it the him card. Every time this card pops out, I think, oh, it's him. Or, oh, it's you. There you are. So there's this person coming into your life that you're having that reaction to. Like, oh, there you are. It, almost like an instant awareness that they could be the one. There's something about them that is um, recognizable to you. I mean, it could be that you actually know them. Or maybe they're coming back from... Um, much earlier in your life that's kind of hard to indicate to like the cards aren't necessarily pointing that out at this point um, but there's if it's not uh, somebody that you know already you at least have some sort of a soul recognition or such a familiarity with their energy that even upon first meeting them your reaction is oh there you are it's him it's you um, and so combined with this frog spirit here, what I was getting with the frog actually today is, is um, you know, that the frog in this particular image is floating on a lily pad and, um, you know, being on the top of the water, I'm getting that, you know, that this king here, I believe with his entrance into your life, it's requiring a shift in your um, emotional experience at this point where you're going from preferring to stay kind of safe and sound up on the surface of the water, the water being emotion, of course. Um, but this one here is immediately causing you to want to jump in deep into the water, deep into the emotional realm. Um, whether, well, how am I going to say this? Uh, I think that that's just the natural impact that they have, whether or not you're choosing it or not. It is a, it is the effect that they're having on you. They're, they're stirring you very emotionally, very deeply. And that's another reason why I'm pointing out that he may not necessarily be a sword, you know, an air sign. Um, that he could, you know, it could be a water sign. Um, the element is not significant here. What's significant about this card today is the um, familiarity, uh, even upon first sight, there's a familiarity there. So, and with the, um, the next set of cards out next, the Eight of Fire, the Otter, and the Ace of Fire kind of coming out as a set, it's like, you know, if you look at these Otters here in the center, if you can see them, there's two Otters snuggled right up next to each other, in the, you know, and of course in a heart shape. Um, so what I was getting from this today is that almost, like I said, almost immediately, it's like this is somebody who from almost the moment you meet them, you're, you're like attached at the hip. You're, you become like, a, um, you're so connected so immediately that they become like a regular fixture in your life, really like right from the beginning. It's almost like, um, skipping the getting to know them part. And that could be another indication that this is somebody that you already know because this, this energy here feels very much like a, a familiar, like I said, there's a real familiarity to them. And again, um, I'll say that even you, they could actually be a new person, but just being around them feels so familiar to you 
that you're you become very close very very quickly that's what this card is saying but then all of this fire around it the eight of fire and the ace of fire it's also indicating that that there's a lot of um, intense passionate sexual energy around this dynamic as well so it's like almost from the get-go it's a really powerful extremely extremely fiery um, connection right so there's like deep deep emotion and um, like just like an instantaneous bond like a bonded pair I'm thinking of um, you know when you go to adopt animals and every once in a while there's a bonded pair of kittens that are just wrapped around each other and it's like if you're going to take one you have to take them both and it's like that's what that's how the two of you are coming across it's like you're just connected at the hip from the moment you meet and what's interesting Aries is that the energy coming out after that um, as a reaction to this strong immediate um, passionate love connection that you seem to be moving into is there's the rhino spirit and the parrot spirit coming out next and this feels to me like somebody outside of the dynamic somebody outside of this of this um, couple here this is like a reaction that you may be receiving from your friends and family or from um, your best friend perhaps but the rhino is coming across you know the rhino just kind of stampede it's supposed to be like kind of a clearer of obstacles but today it's kind of coming across as almost like a trampler. They're trampling on your um, your uh, newfound relationship. It's like they're, for whatever, I think the reason is because it's so intense so quickly that they're maybe they're just feeling very protective of you. It could be a jealousy coming through because with this parrot spirit too, um, with the parrot being like a, re they repeat things that they hear, you know, so this could be like gossip, jealousy, somebody wanting to just like bulldoze this connection. Um, but the parroting energy is also coming through as, um, you know, saying things that they've always said, repeating things that you've heard from them before. And with the following cards that come out after the parrot, it kind of gives me this, in this, um, feeling that maybe what they're parroting is they're kind of trying to remind you of things that you've already experienced. That's why it's like a repeating energy. It's almost like they're on a loop. It's like they can't quite get out of their looping belief system or thought process. And so they keep saying the same limiting um, things to you that are really, you know, having a damper on your spirit and on your, I, I mean, honestly, I don't think anything's going to damper this. I think that you're way too, um, way too into this connection that I don't think that they have any impact on you. But of course, it probably is, you know, kind of a bummer, especially if it's, you know, somebody very close to you that's not being supportive. But what I was saying with this parrot energy is that, you know, these cards here, the five of earth and the three of air are kind of pointing to, because they come out after the parrot, that this person may be trying to uh, flag for you. This is also kind of coming across as an alert energy too with this, with all the colors kind of flaring up like a red flag, a red flag, a red flag. That's almost what the parrot is saying, red flag, red flag, red flag. So what could be happening here is that they're trying to remind you of something in the past that, that had this energy in it of the, you know, the five of pentacles and the three of swords, you know, being, um, just things not ending well, things not being equal, being, um, you know, left out in the cold is the phrase that people often connect to the five of pentacles card. Um, you know, uh, not having your needs met, feeling very depleted or deprived or in poverty mentality, um, connected to something in your past with the three of swords here. So it's like you've had, you've gone through some sort of heartbreak that could have left you in a really, um, poverty victim kind of state you know and of course because the the tower card is coming out after it so with these three cards here i really feel like this para energy as annoying as it might be to you at the moment i feel like they really do care about you um and they're trying to save you from repeating something i mean what could be happening here is that how this how this relationship is beginning 
is a lot like how a relationship began in the past. It could be it could be that they that they think that you have this tendency to jump in too quickly or you get too invested too quickly. And so because that's kind of happening again, that could be what the scenario is here, but there's just something about this energy that's making them uncomfortable. It's either like I said that they they feel like you jump in, you're too trusting, you jump in too fast, you get too emotionally connected too quickly and it's burned you in the past. Or like I said, this could be um, somebody coming back that you've already maybe gone through exactly this with. Could be the case, Aries. Um, and so in the tower card followed by this canary spirit here, there's kind of this energy of... Um, this friend of yours who's warning you or trying to talk you out of this connection is seeing this almost like um, like a trap. It's like leading you back to the tower energy. But the the tower was also kind of reminiscent of a birdcage here today with the canary. You know, this canary is is um, a, an, an uncaged canary, but it's like they're afraid that this situation is going to be too confining for you that it's going to cage your spirit here is what they're saying i believe so um but how we're ending your reading here aries is with the ace of water which is a really good indication that this is a very pure um harmonious true love connection because it's it's, un it's all about unconditional love and in fact it kind of points back to you know, with this pearl here, the frog is is holding that, and it's it's kind of like what this this person is bringing into you. It's like this is what they're what they're they're handing over to you is like the the Ace of Cups, the overflowing emotional fulfillment of the Ace of Cups. It's usually a a cup that's just you know fountaining over with abundance of good emotion and truth and purity and unconditional love. And so that this connection does seem to be a true and honest love connection. Um, and with this, this grasshopper spirit card out next, it's interesting because it says take a leap of faith, but there's something here about today. I was actually feeling like this, this grasshopper is actually kind of calling you into it. You know, the, the frog was holding the, the, um, pearl and it's like you guys are magnetized and, he, and it's kind of pulling you into his world. So I'm starting to get a sense here at the end that he may be um, trying to or what if you are to be connected with this one, it's going to pull you into a whole new realm, like a whole new life. Like perhaps you would actually have to relocate to be with them. So usually I see this grasshopper, of course, as leaping off of this. Um, bunch of foliage here, but there's something about the combination of this these cards that feels like they're being pulled together And so I feel like you're actually being pulled into their world um, Which could actually be um, I'm almost feeling like for some reason with this king of air and then you know and then the crown on this grasshopper here as being almost like very dignified and you know high class for some reason it's like the secret garden it's like you know all this foliage is making me think of the secret garden it's like it's like a um an aspect of life or or a, you know perhaps they're very well off financially and it's like by by connecting with them you're being pulled into a world that you know few get to experience it's not the common ordinary experience it's something more lush and abundant i'm feeling you know of course this um this frog spirit could also be you know bringing in the whole prince charming type energy so he could be really um he could potentially be very well off and i feel like he's wanting to bring you into his circle He's, so that could be another reason that your um, friend here is very concerned and, and waving the red flag for you is because it seems like it may, be, especially, yes, again, with the lily pad, it's like you're leaving your lily pad to join them in their secret garden, kind of. Um, that's kind of the message I'm getting here. It's like, like I said, usually I see the grasshopper as leaping, but today it's the frog that's leaping. You're the frog and you're leaping into this new this new realm. And I think that, you know, um, it's, 
it's obviously very compelling to you. You're, it's almost like, you know, you know, you guys are magnetized together. You're being drawn. There's a very powerful force between you. Like I said, it's like right away, you're just this bonded pair. It's like from this, from the point you, from the moment you meet from that point on, it's like you do everything together. It's like, it's like a couple that, um, you know, has like their professional life is together. They live together. They, you know, all of their free time is spent together. It's just like a strong, strong connection, a strong bonded pair, like two little snuggled kittens. It's really um, a gorgeous energy. But then, as like I said, all of this energy may be about you having to, you know, with the, with the nine of fire, it's like that, that you are going to be moving and maybe moving very quickly you know, the, the circumstances of your life may be shifting very quickly because of this one coming in. And I think so there's there seems to be a lot of a lot of red flags going on here with your parrot. It's like they think it's going too fast. They think it's taking you too far. And um, there's a little bit of, you know, you've done this kind of thing in the past. Don't you remember? So Aries, um, I'm going to continue to pull cards and see what else we can get about this connection and about whether this is there's any foundation in, in their claim and their warning. Um, so if you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box. And if not, I'll see you next time, Aries. Thanks. Bye.